Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new Apex Legend coming to the game that is actually the game's second mobile exclusive legend. Yes, we are going to be getting another mobile only legend. Fade, obviously, being the first one that was uh, introduced to the game on launch. And two months later, we're going to be getting a brand new legend. And this legend is confirmed coming into season two. There have been a plethora of leaks that include a brand new challenge coming out within the next few days within the game. So we're going to be hopping into all the information that is currently available. So the new legend that was just leaked is DJ. Now, this legend was leaked, I believe, actually like a few days ago, almost a week ago. Apex Mobile has been pretty bad to say the least about accidentally leaking things way ahead of time um if you don't know there are multiple social channels for each language so there's the main play apex mobile twitter but there's also uh twitter accounts for uh like the japanese version i think like the chinese version so there's a few different social accounts and they've got facebook's as well and so when you have like 10 to 20 social accounts for one game it's kind of bound to happen that something's gonna slip through the cracks and that's exactly what happened just a few days ago when this image right here was leaked pretty much confirming we're going to be getting some sort of new legend or hero because this outline of the character was never previously seen in the pc or console version of the game so that was our first indication we we're going to be getting a new legend on top of that people had already found out in the game files that there was um hints of a new legend called rhapsody or something along those lines i think it was like a code name but it turned out being that this code name rhapsody legend was actually the dj we're talking about here now the reason we know that this dj character is going to be getting launched in season two which if you guys haven't been following there's been a ton of changes into the update schedule for apex legends mobile there's going to be a rank reset in around four days time which i will be making a separate video on in a few days explaining the rank reset and what you guys can expect from that but the battle pass has been changed to the 12th where the brand new huge update that hopefully will fix the entire game is going to be coming out so the new battle pass and the new season rather than being on the 14th or the 15th it is now on the 12th 12th of July so only eight days away and if you guys remember last season when Loba was released uh, around like 10 days before Loba was released her in-game event and challenges where you'd have to go into the vault and get her diamond those challenges were released around eight to ten days before the uh the new season as well so this is pretty right on time for when we should be seeing an event and just today uh there have been some more not even leaks people have just been getting straight up notifications on their phone saying that the new rowdy event is going on and that you can hop in now to play it and complete the challenges uh so this new challenge is going to be starting within the next few days and if you're wondering who's rowdy what is rowdy uh it's sort of like uh, dj's sidekick like companion um i'm not sure how this little thing is this little character is going to be um functioning within the game it's kind of like a robot dog and i don't know if it's just going to follow you around all over the place or if you kind of like throw it out as an ability i don't really know but you will be able to win three free cosmetics from this event and i'll put those cosmetics up on screen and i do want to give a huge shout out to the gaming bot and play apex mobile leaks these guys have been coming in really clutch over the last week with just releasing a ton of information on the game and personally i'm not a huge fan of leaks but with the lack of you know communication and content from apex themselves I don't really mind looking at leaks and discussing them because it's something to get everyone hyped up about, like I've been saying. So if you want to check out their pages, this is where I'm getting all my information, all credit goes to them. They'll be linked down below in the description. So yeah, the challenge should be getting released within the next day or so, which indicates that this is time to be released for the new season two. Now on the subject of mobile exclusive legends, uh, there were actually some other legends leaked in the game files, some icons for pre-existing legends on the uh, Apex PC and console side of things their icons and game files were put into the mobile game files which sort of indicates and hints towards that we're going to be getting these legends sometime um it, it seems like they're probably going to be introducing one legend a season over the next few seasons or so which i kind of like the idea of doing that but in these game files there were no new mobile exclusive legends or no hints towards any other legends that would be uh mobile exclusive so for right now it seems like we've got two mobile exclusive fade and dj and we should have some other legends coming to the game very very soon and funny enough uh dj's abilities have already been leaked to some degree they're still a bit vague and kind of confusing because they kind of revolve around this rowdy character or this 
rowdy pet or psychic like i said that follows you around or i don't know if they follow you around so the abilities that we have or the information that we have will probably make more sense once the character is here but to give you guys a little rundown uh running for a period of time increases the visualized sound warning range and stopping will cancel the effect so i guess if you just sprint for a long time you can see gunshots further away like the little indicator that pops up on your screen same thing for uh, i guess footsteps and other things i kind of like this but it's also kind of vague, like how long do you have to run? Uh, you know, how much of a wider range does it give you? I really don't like when games are super vague with just these terms of like uh, running for a period of time. Is it 10 seconds? Is it 30 seconds? Uh, we'll probably find out when it comes out once again. Uh, when the ultimate ability is active, squad mates near Rowdy gain a reload speed boost, which is kind of cool um but once again it says when the ultimate ability is active squad mates near rowdy gain a speed boost which means that i kind of think rowdy is the ultimate that i was kind of hinting towards and there's one more piece of information that kind of leads me to believe that rowdy is in some way involved with the ultimate with uh dj what we could figure out was that the ultimate ability seems to be deploying rowdy and then sending out some sort of blinding light uh maybe a flashbang if you want to think of it like that way how long this rowdy character is out for don't know it just seems that uh deploying rowdy is involved in the ultimate somehow and when you do so it sends out some sort of light it could just be a distracting beam of light ray of light uh like a disco ball i don't know uh there's still a lot of ambiguity around the abilities but from first looks it's not looking too crazy uh i'd really like to see uh dj's tactical ability because there's no way that rowdy is a tactical ability chucking this thing out every like 30 seconds would be pretty absurd uh so probably their ultimate don't know the tactical yet and then her passive is definitely running uh for a period of time and increasing the the warning range and uh all that kind of stuff so first glance the legend seems pretty okay but this is still leaks the, the, the legend is like a week away from coming out so i'm not going to make any first impressions it does seem like a pretty cool character with a lot of potential and once again i gotta give credit where credit is due for apex releasing a second mobile exclusive legend only two months into the game i really thought it was going to take a lot longer for us to get some more mobile exclusive characters so if they can keep up this trim keep on releasing mobile exclusive characters that actually play a role into mobile like i really do like the fact that the passive ties directly into mobile or if the legend fade honestly you can copy and paste fade move them onto pc and there would be no discernible difference but this seems like you know you couldn't even bring it to pc and console because the footstep stuff is a very mobile centered thing so all in all i'm pretty excited for the legend of course when the legend does drop i believe on the 12th i will be bringing you guys gameplay of that so rank split on the 8th new update regarding everything on the 12th so if you guys haven't already subscribed and you want to make sure you're up to date on all the latest news gameplay content for apex mobile make sure you click that sub button drop a like if you enjoyed the video and you learned something new but with all that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace